One pot dishes are super handy just because it saves time and makes easier cleanup at the end. Obviously I have quite a few dishes and bowls here, but that's just me and I do this for presentation for you on camera. This recipe that we're gonna be doing today is a creamy garlic mushroom and chicken pasta. It's super easy to make, tastes absolutely incredible, and obviously it's all done in that one pot. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright guys, starting us off, we're going to need 750 grams or 1.65 pounds of boneless and skinless chicken thighs to which we can place whole into a mixing bowl and add in half a teaspoon or 0.5 grams of dried basil, half a teaspoon or 0.5 grams of dried thyme, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of onion powder, 1 teaspoon or 2.5 grams of garlic powder, season with sea salt flakes to taste, and of course some cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth. Let's then get our hands in there to massage our beautiful thighs, ensuring everything is well coated and all of the dried herbs and spices add a nice concentrated herby garlicky flavor, making it cheaper than using fresh herbs. As for the veg prep, get yourself one large brown or yellow onion that's been peeled, leaving the root on and saving the scraps for a stock. This can then be sliced in half through the root and make thin slices across, stopping just before the root, which will allow this to hold together. Slice it through the middle horizontally to break up the formation, and yes, it does work before anyone says it doesn't. Then come through and dice this into nice small even sized pieces, also removing as much of the flesh from around the root to avoid waste and save the root for a stock. Here we have 5 cloves of freshly peeled garlic that can be run along a fine microplane or box grater to create a paste which is otherwise known as minced and if you didn't know, garlic pastes are stronger than sliced garlic as the allicin compound which is what gives garlic its pungent flavours isn't broken down as much. As for one of my favourite ingredients which is 200 grams or 7.05 ounces of Swiss brown or cremini mushrooms, these can simply be thinly sliced just like so. And last but not least, whip out 5 grams or 0.2 ounces of flat leaf parsley, scrunch it up into a tight bunch and then give it a good rough chop, ensuring that there's no large leaves or stems. Now for this one pot wonder, place a large high rimmed pan or pot over a high heat and once hot, pour in 1 tablespoon or 20 milliliters of olive oil and place in the seasoned chicken thigh, doing so in batches if your pot or pan isn't big enough and sear for 3.5 minutes or until nicely golden. Once that's achieved, flip them over and repeat that same process, getting them golden all over and these can then be removed and placed into a bowl to rest. Now with the pot or pan over medium high heat, add in 1 tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter along with 2 teaspoons or 10 milliliters of olive oil to help prevent the butter from burning and add in the diced onion to which we can saute for 3 minutes, moving it regularly and this is going to start pulling up that beautiful flavor on the bottom of the pan. Next add in the minced garlic, breaking it up and saute for 45 seconds, mixing it around the whole time so it can gently release its flavor into the onions. Add in one quarter of a cup or 60 milliliters of white wine or chicken stock if you can't consume alcohol and mix this through for one and a half minutes to deglaze the pan, bringing up all of that delicious flavor which will build a foundation for our next ingredients. The thinly sliced mushrooms can then be introduced along with one teaspoon or five grams of sea salt flakes or to taste, then mix this through and continue sauteing for four minutes or until the mushrooms are golden and soft, releasing their moisture, also mixing this around regularly. Pour in one liter or four cups of chicken stock, which is going to be the depth of our sauce and the liquid to cook our pasta. Also adding in 500 milliliters or two cups of thickened cream to give the sauce an amazing flavor and texture. This can then be given a good mix through to allow those flavors to become friends. And we can also check it for seasoning, adding in sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper accordingly to your taste. And once adjusted, mix it through and bring the sauce to a boil. Once boiling, mix it through yet again to keep those flavors moving, then add in 350 grams or 12.3 ounces of the pasta of your choice with myself using penne, which is the perfect vessel for this sauce. Mix that through, ensuring none of it's stuck together, then bring the sauce back to a boil, reduce the heat to medium, and allow this to heavily simmer for 12 minutes or until the pasta is al dente, stirring it through occasionally. In the meantime, let's thinly slice the seared chicken thigh, doing so across the grain, which will break down any muscle tissue, resulting in a much more tender product, leaving us with all of this, and this can be placed back into the resting juices. Now going back to our delicious sauce, the pasta is now al dente and the sauce is reduced and thickened. Let's add in 40 grams or 1.4 ounces of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, along with our roughly chopped flat leaf parsley. Then mix this through for one minute and that cheese is going to add a deep flavor, also helping the sauce thicken and the flat leaf parsley is going to freshen it up slightly, but the parsley can be left out if you don't want to use it. 
One minute later, add in 120 grams or 4.2 ounces of baby spinach to add a little bit of nutrition, and this is optional if you think green stuff in your food is yucky. Mix this through until it just starts to soften, and then the pot or pan can now be turned off the heat. Last but not least, add in the thinly sliced chicken thigh along with any resting juices for extra added flavor, and give this one final mix, ensuring everything is well coated in the sauce. Check it for seasoning, adjusting to your taste, then remove this from the stove top. As for serving it up, pile it up into some nice bowls, and this recipe will easily serve four people. Grate over some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese for that nice little garnish, drizzle over some extra virgin olive oil, and then hit it up with some cracked black pepper for that finishing touch, leaving us with this beautiful and delicious creamy garlic mushroom and chicken one-pot wonder, allowing us to jump into the best part, which is that we can then dig in. <laughs>